Hey everybody, it's Mike Frieder here with On-Call Compliance Solutions and I'm back with another Compliance Tip of the Week. This week we're talking about CMMC Control IA.L2-3.5.5, prevent the reuse of identifiers for a defined period of time. So hey, if you're a defense contractor who's feeling overwhelmed, tired, and alone, try and understand all of this CMMC, DFARS, and NIST SP-10171 compliance stuff on top of an already colossal workload. Well, I've got great news for you. You found your home here at On-Call Compliance Solutions, where we can help you transform into your company's on-call compliance hero. Let's jump, let's throw on the cape and let's jump into it. CMMC control IA.L2-3.5.5. Prevent the reuse of identifiers for a defined period of time. Well, here's the first question. What the heck is an identifier? Anyone? I mean, seriously. Again, could we just talk in plain English here for a minute? This stuff is tough enough, all right? I don't get it. Actually, it turns out that what we've got is some pretty smart people on staff here, and we do actually get it. Turns out somebody fed me the right script this time, all right? An identifier is something that identifies an account or person as unique, so a great example would be an Active Directory username. Okay, that is an identifier. Maybe they have a unique system ID. That's an identifier. Why don't you want to reuse an identifier? Because let's say Bob Smith's our CEO and access to everything uh, is his, right? He's got access to everything. He leaves and a year later, Barbara Smith comes to work, assumes the same identifier as B. Smith, and magically, Barbara's got access to all kinds of fun stuff she should not have had all very preventable by just not reusing the identifiers. So to dig in more, let's look at precisely what the assessors are looking for on this one. Two points of assessment here. Determine if a period within which identifiers cannot be reused is identified, or excuse me, defined. Uh, so number one, we can just sort of throw in a random answer here. So we'll say a period of 10 days or one week is defined within the IT operations policy. So again, the idea is set whatever the amount of time is, where that identity uh, you know, won't be reused. Maybe it is that it won't ever be reused. Uh, and again, I think that's really what the control is calling for. Determine if reuse of identifiers is prevented within the defined period. Identifiers cannot be reused within the defined period because the identifier is disabled but still exists, leaving it unable to be reused. So again, if you're never deleting the user out of Active Directory, you're just going to disable the account, boom, it's really impossible for it to be reused. Uh, unless someone was to reactivate it, which again, you would just have to have a policy. They don't do that. Now, at OnCall, we work with defense contractors just like you who have had this DFARS, NIST, ITAR, and CMMC compliance stuff dropped in their laps like a seagull on a sunny day. We teach you how to level up and be a proper OnCall compliance hero for your company, eliminating gaps, gray areas, and getting this solved, all while showing you how to leverage compliance as your secret weapon to land more defense work with higher profit margins. Now, that's what becoming an OnCall compliance hero can do for you. If you're looking for more help getting compliant, our compliance experts are always on call for you. Visit cmmccompliancesecrets.com or check out the bio below for links to get help right now. If you love the content we're putting out there for you, help us out with a big thumbs up on that like button, or even better, smash the subscribe button to get the latest compliance content as soon as our compliance nerds roll it out. Until next compliance tip, my friends, stay safe and secure out there, and hit us in the comments below to let us know what you'd like to know more about when it comes to information security and compliance. I'll see you on the next one.